U.S. lawmakers support Iran protests decry murder of 1,000 protesters. Cross-party lawmakers in the United States House of Representatives on Wednesday declared their support and solidarity with the Iran protests. The members of Congress addressed a House briefing on December 11 to support ongoing protests in Iran and to hold the Iranian regime accountable for indiscriminate and deadly use of force. The briefing Congressional Solidarity with the Free Iran was organized by the Organization of Iranian American Communities. Speakers at the event included Representative Steve Cohen, Representative John Garamendi, Representative Paul Gosar, Representative Sheila Jackson Lee, Representative Tom McClintock, Representative John Mullinar, Representative Scott Perry, Representative Raul Ruiz, Representative David Schweikert, and Representative Brad Sherman. Representative Scott Perry told the event, it's important that we voice our support about what's happening inside Iran and voice our support for the people that are struggling to breathe free inside Iran. Names of 25 more martyrs of Iran protests released. The People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran released the names of another 25 martyrs of the Iranian People's Uprising, bringing to 457 the number of victims identified so far. The number of martyrs of the nationwide uprising far exceeds 1,000, among them many children and minors. Mrs. Maryam Rajavi, the president-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, called on the United Nations Security Council to condemn this major crime and urged the dispatch of a fact-finding mission to Iran to visit the detention centers and those arrested during the uprising. She said, Inaction vis-à-vis -vis this unprecedented crime is inexcusable and will be construed by the regime as a green light to continue and intensify its atrocities. Pompeo warns Iran's regime over rocket attacks at Iraqi bases. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo accused Iran's regime for a spate of rocket attacks against Iraqi bases where American troops are located and warned the Trump administration would respond forcefully if U.S. or Allied forces were injured or killed. Iran's proxies have recently conducted several attacks against bases where Iraqi security forces are co-located with U.S. and international coalition personnel, Pompeo said in a statement. Any attacks by Iran or its proxies that harm Americans, our allies, or our interests will be answered with a decisive U.S. response, he added. Iran. Four women's rights activists sentenced to 16 years and eight months in prison. Nahid Shagaghi, Akram Nasirian, Maryam Mohammadi, and Esrin Derkale Members of the Voice of Iran Women's Association have each been sentenced to four years and two months in prison. The lawyers of the four women's rights activists were informed of their sentences on Wednesday, December 11. Their charges included disseminating propaganda against the state, removing the veil, and conspiring against national security.